Chapter 446, Whoever Dares to Take Action Holds Me in Contempt The black tsunamis engulfed the underground corridor from both ends, trapping most of the practitioners in the remains in between. With no way to back down, they could only fight till the end. The class C's formed the first line of defense with their spirit chi armor, which served as effective protection against single bugs. Initially, the big organizations wanted to force individual practitioners to shield off bug floods from the front, but soon they realized that their defense was too weak to sustain without spirit chi armor. If all the individual practitioners died off, big organizations like themselves would be no match for so many beetles. They could be easily breached against such a grand scale of monsters. An analogy would be, how could a powerful man who could defeat 10 or 100 enemies at the same time be able to overpower thousands or more? Besides, there were no class A's among them. Thus, although reluctantly, they had to protect individual practitioners so as not to create too many casualties in a short time. With them in the inner circle, even class E metahumans were able to use their power to wipe out a swathe of low defense bugs. In fact, the key issue was individual practitioners' low resistance to poison. Despite their combat skills and ability to withstand physical attacks, a dosage of beetle venom was lethal. The danger of those bugs lay in their sheer number, and every single one of them could spell death for practitioners. But do not underestimate those experts from big organizations either. They were all elites from their respective teams, shouldering the exceptional responsibility of managing external affairs. Under their extraordinary leadership talents, a large-scale yet orderly defense system was quickly established. Though slightly messy, it indeed brought down the rate of casualties. Meanwhile, in the south, Lu Xu, Ji Wei, and Li Ixiao joined forces with the deities. It was only until then did Lu Xu learn that Ji Wei's inheritance was thunderbolts. According to Li Xianyi, the nine major directors of the Golden Foundation inherited their strengths from ancestors, not power awakening. Moreover, each bloodline had their own, unique ways of passing down their legacy. Surrounded by lightning, any beetles in Jiwei's proximity would be smashed to powder at once. Keep a distance from me. Li Ixiao shouted, you are abusing your power to retaliate against your personal enemy. Li Ixiao could feel his hair stand up every time Jiwei took a step. Luckily, his hair was pretty short. Meanwhile, be it wittingly or not, Jiwei kept closing the gap between himself and Li Ixiao. Occasionally Lu Xu could even see electric arcs flying towards Li Yixiao. The laws of physics could no longer be applied to power awakening. After all, the rules never dictated that fiery phoenixes with thunderbolts could be summoned at one's will. Blue lights flickered around Ji Wei. Operating at his full strength, countless electrical balls were shot from his palms into the throng of bugs, shattering them into pieces upon impact. Ji Wei suddenly turned to Lu Xu. Why aren't you making an effort to fight off the bugs? Or should I present you with a slacker certificate? Don't you want to do anything when we are all busy killing the bugs? Actually, Lu Xu wasn't really doing nothing per se, just that his main priority was protecting coral, not attacking bugs. Do anything? Do what? Lu Xu paused for a while before he answered, then, all the best you all? From Ji Wei's distress, plus 666. In fact, he felt guilty for simply watching others dealing with the bugs too. Thus, after advising Coral to stay safe, Lu Xu walked straight into the bug throngs with divine water over his entire body. Upon contact with the water, those bugs immediately evaporated into the air. Despite not being an active member, Lu Xu's contribution was still rather commendable for the whole team. Now, the size of his divine water was more than seven times of Li Xiao's. Hence, burning a layer of beetles into ashes was quite helpful indeed. But how did he get the idea of building up his armor with so much divine water? He looked like a bloody oversized Pikachu. Soon, Lu Xu noticed something was up. Those beetles could actually increase the volume of the water. Earlier, the result of the experiment he conducted on one single bug was negligible. 
One bug might not even be comparable to one thousandth of a piece of broken magical weapons. But now, they were being corroded on the magnitude of thousands. Thus, the expanding volume of the water was clearly detectable. How did that feel? Stop. They are all mine. Whoever dares to take action holds me in contempt. Lu Xu shouted at the top of his lungs. Li Yixiao? Ji Wei? Is he nuts? We didn't see you so active earlier, did you eat the wrong pills? At first, Ji Wei thought it was only a joke. But his jaws dropped in shock in the next second. All of a sudden, Lu Xu unloaded his divine water, only leaving behind a layer of ordinary armor to hide his celestial cloak. Then, under his control, the divine water rolled towards the beetles, forcibly opening a gap in the bug floods against the currents. Instead of shrinking, the divine wave had actually expanded. What the hell was that? Ji Wei was aghast. This slacker certainly had his skills. Truth be told, Ji Wei knew that Lu Xu was only a class C, but since when could a class C be so powerful? In the aspect of killing bugs alone, Lu Xu's method was much more productive than Li Yixiao's and Ji Wei's. His wide-range attack was simply more powerful. Coral's face was teeming with admiration. Courage is the most splendid elegance under stress. At that moment, the deities were scratching their heads over how to report back to Coral's father. His daughter had become someone else's fangirl due to their negligence? Now, even Li Ishiao and Ji Wei were starting to doubt who was the true class B. The deities were dumbfounded too. They had not believed it when Coral claimed that Lu Xu was very powerful. But now, they had no reason not to. Moreover, most commendably, Lu Xu showed no sign of fear when facing the bug surge. Instead, he was freaking excited at the moment. Meanwhile, Lu Xu murmured as he was on a bug-killing spree, one broken weapon, two broken weapons. 31 Broken Weapons Chapter 447, Hades Ji Wei and Li Yixiao stood in silence, ten meters away from the bug wave. However, it seemed that they had ceased all actions, not because they were unwilling to fight, nor was it because the beetles were dying out, but that they simply did not even know how to help. Lu Xu's golden wave pranced about in the inky bug flood, like a lively performance of lion dancing during festive seasons. All beetles, upon contact with the divine water, were burned to death and reduced to crumbles. Due to its distaste of those insects, the golden snake kept swimming about in the water so as to maintain its distance. But after Lu Xu unleashed his full strength, the shape and orientation of the divine water started to get unpredictable spinning the golden snake around and making it want to puke. Shouldn't a mythical object be fed with a supreme diet that matched its status? But its owner remained unconcerned about that at all. From not too far away, Ji Wei suddenly asked, Is he usually like this too? Li Xiao was uncertain which aspect Ji Wei was referring to. You mean, is he usually so courageous? Ji Wei was speechless. I mean, is he usually such a nutcase? That displeased Li Yixiao at once. Why are you talking about our Heavenly Network member in such a manner? Do you have any issue with us? Ji Wei? Both of them were nuts. Can we please have a proper conversation? Then, an unusual feeling caught Ji Wei's attention. As he glanced over at Lu Xu's divine water, its size was actually bigger than earlier. Earlier on, Ji Wei was responsible for passing those broken magical weapons to Lu Xu at Li Xianyi's command, as it was not possible for the old man to do everything personally. Thus, Ji Wei was aware that Lu Xu was not so particular about the diet of his divine water, since he was even willing to feed it broken weapons. At the moment, Ji Wei felt that he had seen the truth, as the divine water continued to expand in the throng of bugs. He was neither courageous nor nuts. He was simply greedy for money and he could not let go of any free opportunities to strengthen his divine water. Meanwhile, fighting on his own, Lu Xu ripped open the bug flood, instantly throttling their speed. 
Almost at the same time, all the bugs surged towards Lu Xu, who remained calm and composed in the center of the beetles. For those who did not know the truth, Lu Xu was almost like a deity. His golden glow flickered in the dark bug throng, invincible and unbeatable. At this moment, Lu Xu suddenly stopped short. Wasn't he bouncing around just now? Was he in danger? Li Xiao was nervous. He yelled, Don't be scared, Lu Xu. I'm coming to save you. Then, a stretch of beetles were blown off by his tiger, while rounds of electricity were fired out from Ji Wei's thunder surrounded hands. However, when they got close, they saw Lu Xu standing in his divine water shell lightheartedly, holding his phone. On the screen, it was the interface of a calculator. From Li Yixiao's distress, plus 666. From Ji Wei's distress, plus 666. What are you calculating about? Ji Wei's face darkened as he continued to back down from the incoming bugs. What are you doing? We thought you were in danger seeing you standing still there. Lu Xu shot them a startled look, while mumbling to himself, 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6 is 36. 5 1 Labor's Day. 6 1 Children's Day. Freak. It's all messed up. At first Lu Xu would initiate attacks, but slowly he wondered why he even needed to run around when those bugs would come to him. Initially, the army of beetles was the synonym of death and fear. Every single life in their course of path would be killed. Moreover, all practitioners' blood was drawn underground, its mana absorbed by some unknown source. But now, they ran into Lu Xu. Although they would not be wiped out so quickly, they could not lay a finger on Lu Xu as well. Without intelligence, those bugs were only programmed with murderous primal instincts. Hence, Lu Xu's presence was intolerable to the entire bug flood. As a result, all of them were held back by Lu Xu. Coral felt fireworks exploding in her heart. The man of her dreams was standing still in a throng of black beetles, like a graceful deity. She was mesmerized by his composed demeanor. Even simple actions like pressing plus and multiplication signs on his phone screen looked particularly attractive when they were done by him. Undeniably, Lu Xu had given Coral too many surprises since the moment they met. Although there were many even stronger experts out there, be it Chen Bailey or Li Xiani, they belonged to the old generation. Among their peers, few could be comparable to Lu Xu. Besides the youngest class B bishop from the Department of Faith Theory, the Northern European class C who had awakened to a divine bloodline at such a low level, and the young man named Hades. In the Phoenix Society, across the globe there were fewer than ten who were on the same level as Lu Xu in Coral's knowledge. In fact, there was another Hades in Egypt. The Hades of the Phoenix Society was full of himself, and it was said that he had already made an open challenge to the Darkness Kingdom against his Egyptian competitor. There should only be one Hades in the world. Thankfully Lu Xu was unaware of that. Else, he would call himself Hades as well. By then, he would get a constant income of distress points from the Phoenix Society's Hades every time the latter thought of him. So easy. As a matter of fact, the new generation of the Heavenly Network was also the center of global attention. A big organization's true power lay in the abilities of their fresh blood. But to everyone's surprise, Class C's had been brought up in the Heavenly Network at an astonishing rate. Furthermore, most of the other organizations would choose to advertise their newly recruited geniuses as a display of their profound power. Thus, more foreign talents would be attracted to compensate for their weak legacy or small population. But it was a different case for the Heavenly Network. They held confidentiality in high regard and might even release fake information to cause public confusion. Now, many members inside the Heavenly Network were suspected to be key talents nurtured by the network. They included class aptitude geniuses and the first batch of low-profile experts selected from ARMY. The world was constantly changing and the golden times of practitioners had since arrived. But Lu Xu's heart was filled with money, Lu Xiaoyu, and nothing else. Chapter 448 The Bugs Were Gone 
human howling echoed through the underground remains every now and then. It was the desperate cry when one's life was drawn out of his body as beetle poison set in. Even the Class C practitioner's armor was not always foolproof. Sooner or later, their protection would be compromised as their mana ran out over time. Thus, occasionally Class B experts of various big organizations had no alternative but to shield their members from life-threatening dangers. They were not cold-blooded reptiles either. Besides, who would still follow them if all their men died during the first remains expedition? People were not stupid. Understandably they were more willing to obey leaders who took their safety into consideration. Otherwise, what was the point of following them? Class B moves never failed to surprise. Fully concentrated, Howard unleashed his full power. Now, amidst the bug flood, he surrounded himself with a ball of flames that turned from red to white, emitting intense heat. Before they could reach his vicinity, countless beetles had already been melted in the heat, which burned the ground into transparent fluid. Suddenly, the ten-plus fiery phoenixes summoned by Howard combined into one, whose wingspan was as wide as six meters. A flap of its flaming wings instantly set a large swathe of bugs ablaze. If a class B is already so powerful, how about class A's? The glory of ancient myths is likely to return in the future. Are they the reincarnation of gods? No. They are the founders of a new legend, and we all are inside this myth. Eh? Look. A person downstream pinned down the entire bug wave on his own. Could he be a hidden class A? An individual practitioner recognized the golden glow. He replied with a complicated look on his face, not a class A, he's a mentally twisted expert who likes to watch us digging earth. Other individual practitioners were stunned. What kind of hobby was that? On Lu Xu's side, his efficiency of killing bugs could not be compared to those big organizations. In the lapse of time, the downstream area was still infested with bugs while the site upstream was more hopeful. On a brighter note, his divine water had almost doubled in size, comparable to an entire public bathroom. Since the situation upstream was under control, some organizations came over to help. The pledge expert went downstream as well, his expression cold as ice. Yet, his main target was not the beetles, but Lu Shu. It was time to avenge his comrades. Indeed, it was a perfect opportunity for him. Trapped in swarms of bugs, who would notice whether Lu Xu was secretly attacked? After all, the stakes were too high to kill him outside the remains. The pledge leader was very cautious. He knew Lu Xu was at least one of the top few class Cs since he could even defeat a weakened Nojoa to Kenobu. Moreover, the presence of Li Ixiao added more difficulty to his evil plan. He could not afford to take risks. Howard announced proudly, the Phoenix Society can take care of the upstream. Now go and help with the downstream. Individual practitioners exchanged startled look with one another. Never had they expected the Phoenix Society to be so confident. Another pro sneered. Don't bluff. We won't take responsibility if you die. Fine, let's go downstream. Then, he walked away with his people. At that moment, the golden glow erected against the bug flood caught everyone coming downstream in awe. Though unwilling to admit it, the experts understood that a new beast-level genius had risen from the heavenly network. Speaking of which, it was the first time that the network showcased to the world how powerful their geniuses were. A mere Class C was already able to hold back the entire swarm of bugs. Thus, they started pondering the true strength of the network. Was this young man a pure coincidence, or the norm? But those individual practitioners felt otherwise. They were awestruck by his heroic deed of confronting so many bugs on his own. A strong wave of enthusiasm overwhelmed their hearts, as they aspired to be a brave man just like him. Their ambitions were groomed in the era of spirit chi regeneration, but now, many were defeated by reality. It was a mental struggle that many experienced in their growth. In adolescence, they believed the world revolved around themselves, 
but later they were told that they would only reach maturity after acknowledging full-heartedly that they were not the center of everything, but must we all bow our heads to the world? Must we all cut away our uniqueness so as to conform with the rest? All kinds of thoughts and emotions welled up in the individual practitioners' hearts. Finally, they shouted, let me help you. Their blood was boiling in passion, as though they had found their long-lost youth and dreams. Yet, in the next instant, they heard an angry roar from inside the golden glow, bloody hell. Stay away from me. These bugs are mine. From Li Yixiao's distress, plus 666. From Ji Wei's distress, plus 666. From Park Jung Ho's. From Demons. The spark of enthusiasm was extinguished. The image of an imagined hero collapsed. Anyone could enlighten me on what's happening, an individual practitioner asked, his eyes glazed over. Maybe experts are all freaks. Then are we still killing bugs? I suppose we are. All of a sudden, all the practitioners were at a loss of what to do. Though forbidden to take action, those beetles blocked their way downstream. In the end, they still decided to kill those bugs. As they approached, Lu Xu led the bug flood away. He ran away. Leaving behind a bunch of practitioners, shocked and confused. You brought those bloody bugs away. From Li Yixiao's distress, plus 666. From Ji Wei's distress, plus 666. From Park Jung Ho's. From Demons. We are only here to help you. Why did you do that? Why? Did you rear them so it pains you to see them killed? Everyone found it hard to clear their thoughts. So? What now? Should we chase? Honestly, neither do I know what to do. In the crowd, Ji Wei sighed, distress written all over his face. Still, I underestimated his greed for money. Chapter 449 The Murals The receding bug flood reduced the crowd to a state of confusion. But the most shocked of all was still the leader of the pledge. Earlier, he had been trying to incite everyone to advance when they were mired in hesitation. In any case, how could he find the chance to deal Lu Xu a fatal blow when the situation was not messy enough? However, Lu Xu's bloody response was totally unexpected. Why would he run? It did not make any sense. We are only here to help get rid of the bugs, so shouldn't you be grateful? Why did you lead them away? So counterintuitive. Lu Xu thought in his heart. <laughs> Actually, it was rather intuitive. Why would he let anybody stop him from becoming stronger? His divine water was experiencing a rapid and healthy growth. Plus, it was not easy to find such a perfect opportunity. Now, he could groom it well without spending a fortune on the purchase of magical weapons. Why would he let the chance slip through his fingers? No way. The pledge expert said, he must be worried about our personal safety. But that gives us even more reasons to assist him. Puzzled, individual practitioners looked at one another. Then what should we do? Catch up and help him kill the bugs, the expert replied in a firm voice. Then, he took the lead, followed by the rest. No one expected they would be chasing a wave of bugs in the remains. The pledge expert was fast. When he drew near, he shouted at Lu Xu across the sea of bugs, Don't run. We are here to help. Lu Xu yelled back coldly, You are ill-intentioned. The pledge expert. Was his plan exposed? Otherwise, it could not be explained. But the more he thought, the more confused he got. How did the person find out about his hidden agenda? Huh? From Caden Davies' distress, plus 499. To everyone's surprise, Lu Xu suddenly slowed down. Just when the rest was confused whether he had changed his mind, they realized that he was only waiting for the bugs. This was mental. As a matter of fact, Lu Xu himself was well aware that it was impossible to claim ownership of the entire wave of bugs. 
first of all, they could be easily caught by other pros from behind given the bug's slow speed. Secondly, his divine water would take too long to consume the whole bug flood. Furthermore, the visible increase in the size of the water would certainly arouse suspicion in onlookers. Those big organizations were not stupid, and certainly they would not stay put and let him gain powers on his own. The terrific nature of Earl's mythical item was well known. Even a single drop would cause much of a headache to opponents of the same level. But now, in Lu Xu's hands, the divine water was already large enough to encircle his rivals. In addition to magical weapons, it could now engulf humans. Thus, it was a matter of when, not if, the experts would interfere. Currently, Lu Xu could only seize this opportunity and digest as many beetles as he could. At that moment, the pledge expert was pleasantly surprised to see Li Xiao too far away from Lu Xu to be of any useful help. Not a bad opportunity, he thought to himself calmly, gauging the distance between Li Xiao and himself. He could easily run away after taking Lu Xu down at lightning speed. In a split second, he started to accelerate from behind. If everything went according to his plan, he would pierce through the bug flood like a sharp sword, aiming directly at Lu Xu. Yet, at this very moment, Lu Xu took action. The gigantic ball of divine water suddenly spread out into a flat surface, folding its edges to trap a large swarm of bugs inside like stuffing fillings into a giant pie. Then, Lu Xu quickly ran away with the lump. He looked like Santa Claus, with a giant golden sack behind his back. This time, his escape was way too fast, and very decisive as well. As a result, Caden replaced Lu Xu to become the man nearest to the bug flood. Those beetles lacked consciousness, and they would prioritize creatures closest to them as their targets. In terms of combat awareness, they were very different from the gargoyles. Hence, once Lu Xu was gone, the entire group of bugs swerved back towards Caden and those practitioners behind. Bloody hell. They were totally caught off guard. From Caden Davies' distress, plus 999. Other than him, those practitioners were scared too. Suddenly they became the frontline warriors before they were even ready. Therefore, those individual practitioners immediately took to their heels when Caden was still fighting his way out of the swarms. Screw those heroic dreams and enthusiasm. How could a hero be such a joker? In the meantime, Lu Xu dashed downstream while the bugs dragged along were being corroded by his water. His greed stemmed from years of poverty. Following the same veins, people who used to be starved in their childhood may feel more insecure about food even after they got rich later on. But Lu Xu was not the kind of person who would risk his life for money. He knew his limits. Thus, the pledge expert's hasty approach had already sent a warning signal to him. It was no secret that he had inconvenienced members of the pledge. So, something must be wrong with that pledge expert's kind-hearted offer of help. Conclusion, it was time to run. His divine water had expanded more than double this time. It was his greatest takeaway in this remains. After a while of running, Lu Xu's attention was suddenly arrested by something on the walls. There were words there. Lu Xu had put away most of his divine water, since few beetles were left. Holding a few drops in his hands for lighting purposes, Lu Xu leaned closer to the stone wall for a better look. But he was immediately alarmed by what he saw. It was not words, but, a down-pointing arrow. Others might have ignored the marking as they had been fooled by too many random symbols like this thanks to Lu Xu. But this arrow, blended in perfectly with the coarse stone wall, was not his work. What was it? Lu Xu took a deep breath to calm himself down before his eyes followed the arrow down to the ground. Xiao Yu was here. Lu Xu. Chapter 450 Lu Xiao Yu protects Lu Xu. Gazing at the words written by Lu Xiaoyu, Lu Xu found it hilariously interesting. He had played the role of a prankster for too long, but now, it was his time to be fooled. He felt cheated. On second thoughts, right, why would there be an arrow pointing straight to the treasure or relic in the remains? 
In fact, he thought Lu Xiaoyu was still on the surface, as she did not make it in time before the palace sank into the ground. Which meant the little girl could just be in front. Lu Xu moved on along the stone wall, but his face darkened at once at the next line. Lu Xu is a pig. Lu Xu? The five words were so small that Lu Xu almost missed them had he not paid special attention to search. But what are you doing in the remains? Vandalism? Besides, why are you name calling me? You've changed, Lu Xiaoyu. Then, Lu Xu erased the words with his corpse dog. <laughs> Lucky that he had walked past here. Then, even more appeared on the wall, things like, Lu Xu once cried over TV dramas, Lu Xu once didn't wash his face for three days, Lu Xu is a big idiot. Lu Xu took a deep breath. He carved on walls for distress points, but Lu Xiaoyu did so specifically to target him. All the words were then removed by corpse dog. Lu Xu was happy, no one else could see those negative comments about him. At this moment, he stopped short at another line. Lu Xiaoyu will protect Lu Xu for a lifetime. Suddenly, waves of emotions welled up from the depth of Lu Xu's heart, but he could not explain why. It felt like some long-lost feelings had surfaced yet again. Usually, Lu Xu seldom expressed his feelings, as he viewed it as a waste of time and energy in this hard life. He would never put his reliance on Lu Xiaoyu into words and he felt ashamed to do so. But at the moment, a white dolphin sprang across the waves, joyfully, breaking the silence that had shrouded the ocean for an eternally long time. Actually, Lu Xiaoyu had said it to him before. Back then, she said she would awaken to her powers to protect Lu Xu, as he was too weak to be a metahuman. At that time, Lu Xu only took it as the little girl's innocent joke. Ever since his power awakening, he thought that sentence would slowly fade away from Lu Xiaoyu's mind as time went by. For years, it was always him that was protecting Lu Xiaoyu and never had he thought about Lu Xiaoyu's true feelings about it. Yet, that promise was still on her mind. It was a long time ago. On the bus, Lu Xu had just foolishly inserted a 5 yuan note into the slot instead of 1 yuan. When he tried to explain to the bus driver, the latter shirked by claiming not to see it with so many people around. In fact, Lu Xu knew that he was the one to blame, not the driver. Thus, instead of showing his ill temper, he suffered a bad appetite due to his anger to himself. In those days, Lu Xu was a lone miser who would even argue over 5 yuan. He had just finished his first month of work at a barbecue stall and was eager to meet Lu Xiaoyu with his first salary. In this world, no one had ever promised to protect Lu Xu, except Lu Xiaoyu. Upon seconds thought, Lu Xu carved another line of small letters below. Thank you. Lu Xu will protect Lu Xiaoyu for a lifetime too. Wandering in the lower reaches of the river, Li Xianyi saw the water turning bright red. Just a while ago, the river was still normal, but now it reeked of blood. Li Xianyi was certain, something must have happened upstream. His instincts had already told him that this place was an oddity when he slaughtered Inferno Blood Devil. To him, it was an unrighteous practice to sacrifice human practitioners for improvement of devil's powers. A downright heresy. In fact, he had seen such things a long time ago. But at that time, it was not blood devils that the altar was feeding. The reason for Li Xianyi's decision to act solo was that he had experienced deja vu with many features of these remains. Casting aside the agreement of non-involvement of Class A's in the competition for the relic, he must find out the truth behind them all. The worst nightmare of the Golden Foundation seemed to be looming over the horizon with the onset of the pinnacle of spirit qi regeneration. At the end of the river was a stone wall as tall as a few people stacked together. Complicated patterns sprawled the surface of the door, looking like some bizarre symbols. At the moment, blood flowed into the door started wriggling along the lines like worms. Meanwhile, the river of blood flowed to the other side from underneath the door. It seemed that the end of it laid across the door. With a cold sneer, Li Xianyi imbued mana into his white jade sword. In the next instant, hundreds of beams of sword energy banged on the door, breaking its patterns into pieces. 
the entire structure collapsed into a pile of powder. Inside was a gigantic cavern, similar to the one in which Inferno Blood Devil was found except for the fact that this one was even more magnificent. Li Xieni's brow knitted together in astonishment. There were neither altars nor human skeletons here, instead, it was a blood-filled basin into which all the underground river systems converged. Situated at the center of the basin was a black stone platform, surrounded by a pool of boiling blood. A giant stone coffin was placed on the platform, with an inferno blood devil kneeling on the ground in front. At the moment, the bottom of the coffin had already turned red. It looked as if the Pandora's box would be open when the entire coffin was soaked in blood. Fed by the blood basin, this inferno blood devil was far stronger than the one killed by Li Xieni earlier. Suddenly, the blood devil reared its sinister head towards Li Xieni, who was still studying the spooky place calmly. No matter how powerful this one was, blood devils were class Bs at most. But what was inside the coffin? A native spirit of the remains? Dead or alive? Then, Li Xieni's eyes were drawn upwards to the dark dome, where countless gargoyles were hanging upside down in their slumber. More than ten of them had already turned red. The old man frowned again. It would not be nice to have over ten newly groomed class B blood devils here. Flapping its blood-red wings, the inferno blood devil soared into the air. But, it was intellectual enough not to confront Li Xieni head-on. Instead, it suddenly punctured its heart with its claws. Then, large volumes of blood splashed out from its wound onto the stone coffin. It actually sacrificed itself for the thing inside the coffin. Certainly, the spirit inside was at least a class A. As the inferno blood devil fell down, thundering, the lid of the coffin was sliding open by an invisible force. doesn't mean to be happy Cause it looks like we all don't know Last half full or empty And we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens 